Hey, it's Kevin Tolkien with JK on the Run, and we are at the NVIDIA booth. We've got some hands-on time with some tablets, uh, some of the slates that are Tegra powered, and we're really excited. Hi, I'm Bill Henry. I'm with I'm NVIDIA. I yeah, manage the Tegra like development team. We're here to talk about NVIDIA's new Tegra uh, processor. It's powering the next generation of tablets. Um, as you can see, we can drive a beautiful full resolution screen. So if you want to hit any website, you just go right to that page. We'll serve it up really fast. We'll serve it up with all the flash. Um, so you, you full compatibility. Sorry, full compatibility with all the web. Um, I want to just show a couple of uh, things here to give you an idea of what. This, the speed of this thing is like. You see, we draw up the uh, UI pretty quickly. I've got a, um, 180 photos in here. Next generation. And basically, I can go in and take a look at any one of them. As you see, as I tap the screen, this thing is really quick. Very responsive. So, um, one of the other things that we want to be able to do. Uh, the web, or to uh, deliver a great mobile processor, you need to be able to handle 1080p content. This is the first product in the marketplace, the first mobile processor that handles 1080p. Uh, so let me go back and actually show you a clip. Um, one of our one of our favorite clips here. As you see, it loads up right away. No no break in the sweat. Plays back beautifully. Full 1080p. What's the res on that screen right now? Do you know? So it's 1024 pixels wide, meaning you can handle most web pages. You don't have to squish it down and everything. Right. And it's 600 pixels high. A very very common resolution for this next, next generation tablet. Yep. Yeah. No buffering. No stuttering. No nothing. Start it up and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll let it. I'll let it, you see the uh, voice sync on this part here. So you can see a lot of different factors. My name is James Severus Well, uh, very nice. So again, we're um, this this uh, this product here, this ICD tablet, was one of the finalists in uh, Last Gadget Standing. Right. So um, kind of a um, prestigious award for uh, uh, for the CES. Um, one of the big things at CES this year was tablets, and uh, so these Tegra-based machines really showing a very very responsive. Um, I think they'll set the bar for user expectations of tablets in the in the new year. Performance is really good. How about battery life? Because that's obviously oh, it, yeah yeah a tablet that doesn't last very long is, is uh, isn't very <laughs> interesting at all. Right. So um, basically one of the things that we've designed this to actually uh, um, have multiple processors, a CPU, GPU, video processor, audio processor, um, we turn every one of those things off if they're not in use. And so right now I've got a static stream, we let the CPU actually go off. And the GPU is actually doing the, screen, the, uh, the display refresh. You see the screen blank after a little while just like your cell phone would. We'll go into a low power state that just uses milliwatts, and that leads you to days of, of uh, see it's going into a lower, lower state there. Um, it'll actually blank out. Um, and just like your cell phone, you, you want it? There it is. Right? So again, days of, days of battery life, instant, or actually always on, because we go into a, such a low power state, which is leave it on all the time, and, it, and uh, it can last for days in that state. In terms of doing active things, uh, we've, uh, we've um, you know, been able to play multiple movies on a single charge. Oh, that's so, awesome. I mean, even high definition content, uh, again, we can uh, play streaming 1080p content, um, you know, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Farmville, game, gaming is great on this. Um, How about and, uh, uh, video output to an external? I'm thinking oh, that's a, an HD that you guys have. Oh, absolutely. And, and uh, most of these tablets will actually come with an HDMI port. Uh, these guys have used a mini HDMI, so you can just take a cable, plug it into your big screen TV, right. 1080p, you know, driving that uh, full home theater experience. Yep. It's in your pocket and anywhere you want to go. Um, and uh, some of the other devices on display, we actually have systems from all the major notebook manufacturers, Quanta, Compal, um, um, Wistron, Foxconn, the, you know, MSI. A whole bunch, yeah. It just goes all the all the top uh, manufacturers. Right, I think you guys have like 50, 50 different designers working with the, the chip now. Right. We have, uh, we have probably 15 different uh, designs on display at the show this week. Um, but Tegra's not great just for these uh, just for these tablets. Right. We have some smart books that are in design. There's a few of them that you see behind you. Um, we we're also powering the other, like the winner of the CES last gadget standing, right. which is the Boxy Box by D-Link. Yes. Um, that was a big so, win for you guys.
guys. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So again, Tiger serves up such a great internet experience mm -hmm. and that full HD, uh, you know, full HD capability. All you really need is that HDMI coming out, right. wireless, and you can add uh, internet capability to any TV, hundreds of millions. So we see a really big opportunity. Box has done a great job on the UI to make it really easy for you to, you know, if you want to watch a program, you know, Desperate Housewives, you know, season sure. three, episode three, just you go for that. You don't say, I want this channel at that time. You right. Just ask, ask for what your content is, and then they're smart. They'll start actually grabbing, you know, episode four, five, and six. So you know, it's a, it's a natural thing that sure. they'll make recommendations on other content they may like. It's, um, I think, it's a really interesting uh, direction for TV being distributed over the internet and uh, really convenient for users. Right. And which tab? This was the ICD tablet. Yeah. So <laughs> ICD is uh, is a company that designs these tablets, and uh, um, they actually announced uh, they they announced a design win with uh, T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. They will be taking actually one of their 15-inch tablets, so a really nice big wow. screen that's really designed kind of as a home hub. Uh, again, it's going to be based on our next generation Tiger processor. Uh, so T-Mobile is going to roll that out this uh, uh, probably in, in the next quarter. Right. Uh, we also did a demonstration with Verizon and Motorola of streaming 1080p over a wide area network. So Verizon had a set up a 4G network, LTE, LTE network. Right. Right. Um, yeah, this, and again, using one of these devices, the Motorola modem, uh, yeah, and playing 1080p over the airwaves. So imagine you could take this content or be streaming it anywhere. So if I'm on a drive up to Tahoe, uh, you know, the kids can be entertained uh, anytime, anywhere. Nice. Great battery life. It's going to be a terrific uh, product for the market. Cool. All right. Well, maybe we can take a look at some of the other ones then. Yeah, it's, it's great. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. Thanks. So another cool thing that we're demonstrating on our next generation Tegra uh, this week at uh, CES is uh, the latest and greatest Unreal 3 engine running on Tegra. And it is Unreal. It's Unreal awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so it's taking full advantage of the GPUs, pixel shaders, vertex shaders. Again, our dual core CPU can serve up those frames fast, fast, fast. Um, I think it's going to open up some really neat new opportunities for uh, gaming on a portable device. Yeah, I could see, you know, we, we talk about the use cases for these tablets and all, and we haven't talked about gaming, and the reason we haven't is because there hasn't been the capability until now. That's exactly it. And, and a lot of game developers, you know, they basically said, hey, there's there's no hardware there, so there's nothing to write to. Right. Um, you, you could even, you know, you could even argue that, hey, we'd like to be able to run Flash games. Turns out the Flash games are pretty demanding. Yeah. So um, it was a challenge for us to get Farmville running, one of the most popular games on the planet right now. <laughs> um, but uh, it was also one of the things we demonstrated at our uh, press conference. Right. Um, so I think that's pretty cool to be able to, you know, play Farmville and, and uh, get, still get good battery life and be able to play it anywhere. You know, my watch. daughter's excited yeah. about that. Yeah, this is so, the, the Unreal <laughs> Engine that's yeah. running on the yeah. Yeah. So the one thing I want to talk about is, sure. um, you know, for those developers that do want to actually work with Tegra, we wanted to make it easy for them. So all they have to do is go to uh, developer.nvidia.com, mm -hmm. and they can order one of these boards. Uh, we, um, basically, that's the Tegra 2 processor. We have a, 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 a gigabyte of memory on here, and um, you see all the connectors that you would want to be able to plug in just about anything. So it's great from a developer standpoint. Um, when a developer writes their application, tests it out on Tegra, then when they put it out into the marketplace, mm -hmm. it'll be able to run on all those tablets and you know, notebooks and you know, TV sets that are, uh, that are going to have Tegra installed. Um, and uh, um, so we really wanted to make it uh, easy accessible. We're, um, we got it at three ninety nine, so again, easy to easy uh, easy to access. We've got lots in inventory, so we can uh, start fulfilling right away. We wanted to do the same thing here mm -hmm. um, that we do for the graphics side of things. That makes our graphics you know, cards and games so compatible. You know, great out of, out of box experience with all the games. It's been a hallmark of uh, you know Nvidia's uh, graphics experience. We want to do the exact same thing here with Tegra. So uh, again, this developer program, I think we're, we're uh, going to get uh, some really neat applications. Uh, allow a lot of innovation. You know, by getting these boards into a lot of people's hands. So three ninety nine. I just might hack my own little tablet. I think. Uh, I'd one. like one today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Thanks, Bill. Our pleasure. Great. Intentionally in this device to explain what are we going to do. Okay. Otherwise, no one will feel the difference. Right. right now, we are using this is plastic screen, which you're not supposed to use, which other people are using already. Mm -hmm. the second is that this is glossy, mm -hmm. which all the Apple, even Apple products come with, which I don't understand why. You have to be usability firm. Right? You need to understand these kind of issues. This kind of device will be used outside in sun, everywhere, and light will be a problem. 
So especially we are going to design a matte screen which will not do any kind of reflection and the second is a switch system. Mm -hmm. Right? So on, switch off and put in different modes. When you so when you turn that off, it's actually just reflecting light. It's reflecting light. So it's not using any power for not, backlighting or anything like yes. that. So um, their uh, chip, Tegra chip. Mm -hmm. So it can so you, you can run for 16 hours of viewing high definition videos on normal LCD. Right. A normal LCD consumes somewhere around 2 2.4 mm -hmm. watt. So if, if you see 16 multiplied by 2.4, you get somewhere around 32. Actually, mm -hmm. that's the 16 hours. That's assuming we output to HDMI. Right. Yeah, there's HDMI. That's, that's, yeah. HDMI. that's right. Okay, so that's HDMI. an external display. So, yeah. 16 so, hours so runtime. With an MED display, it's going to be yeah. okay. way less. Because right now it's using 0.2. 0.2 watts. 0.2 watts. Okay. Wow. 200, mili 200, 200 milliwatts. 200 milliwatts. Yep. Okay. That's right. incredible. And so, that also makes makes the screen highly viewable outdoors in exactly. sunlight, too. Yes. Because yeah. you'll see the ambient light is not good here, right? right. So if you go in sun, you will see that it's exactly what you want from yes. it. And yes. if you see the hash rate, you can act, I, I will show you high definition videos on this. Snappy. Wow. Right? Okay. So. Just to explain the uh, part I was saying about this. Uh, so this is a high definition video, 1080p, mm -hmm. in black and white, in on your e-ink. So your amazing Kindle is 200 milli, uh, 200 microseconds. What is it called? Yeah. So you get some two, or two to three frame rates per second. But right now, what you're doing is some 35 to 40 frames. Wow. And that's in the black and white. That is an e ink mode. Oh, e -ink mode. That's, so, that's very fluid. That's incredible. So when you go out in sun, you can actually awesome. view video of uh, YouTube videos. Right. Right there when you're using your magazines, right? Mm -hmm. Right. The 108P because of the chip. That's awesome. In fact, if you want me. Oh, yeah. So this chip is what is running it, right? The small chip. That's all you need. That's the next gen. I, I, don't, I think it was you that was asking to see yes. the actual device itself. Yes. So yeah. that is the 23 by 23 next generation. Uh, so that's right, next generation okay. Tiger chip powering it. So, as I said, this is handmade. Mm -hmm. So Can you make me one? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I get you a finished one. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, awesome. So Call me when it's done. I'll, I'll buy it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do that a few times. Very nice. So that's great. So you get the benefits of both worlds. I mean, you get the, but on the, the, the full uh, high power consumption screen when you want, you know, color and bright, but you can always go back to the E. Exactly. Right. And because of this screen plastic display, there's some sort of, sort of uh, optical uh, loss mm -hmm. when the light comes out. Mm -hmm. Right. But when you use the matte finish, you will see that it's it completely bright. It's okay. completely bright. Really? Mm -hmm. The other thing I want to tell you is that you'll, you you assume that these kind of devices will be used for internet as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so when you want internet, you want what? You want flash acceleration? Yep. Right. But there's something else which other people are not talking about. It is the JavaScript acceleration. Mm -hmm. That's what yes. we have done. So I'm going to show you these animations which are completely JavaScript. The JavaScript animation running on Tegra. Mm -hmm. So the, Tegra, the next generation Tegra chip has no issue with, with running JavaScript smoothly, it looks like. So, that is a, so it needs a bit of more uh, uh, what do you call, tweaking. Optimization, maybe? Optimization, maybe. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the fastest JavaScript machine running on Tegra. In it's fact, on, nice. in the tablet, this is the fastest. Wow. It's smooth. Yeah, because when I'm, I'm a cloud guy, so I'm using web apps all the time. You know, my Gmail and stuff, all heavy JavaScript exactly. stuff. So it should be no issue, I would think. Exactly. Oh, Ah, that's coming from the actual reference card. That's very nice. This is one thing, something which I like, so we can see it can handle different kinds. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, I officially want one too. <laughs> I, I said first. I'm first in line because I said it first. And the other thing which you will expect from these kind of devices is games. They've mm -hmm. already come up with their Unreal Engine which, on which you can do right. lots of stuff. But what I want to show you right now is that Android basically is not uh, capable of handling lots of graphics. Right. The issue is that it's made on Java and it does not support animation to that extent. So when they run the Unreal Engine, they directly run on the processor. And this a very small example where we can handle some 200 different physics objects at the same time, all interacting with each other with no loss of frame at all. 
Nice. It's very nice. It might seem like a very old animation, mm -hmm. like what you, you, you used to see uh, like three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. but, oh, uh, okay. but when I tell you these all objects are interacting at the same time, that makes it different, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So when we launch, we'll come with our own app store and we'll, we'll find a few of the interesting applications where you can draw stuff, you can write stuff. And um, we are going to come with Office Suit as well. That's not multi-touch, right? It's just a single touch? All capacitive screens are multi-touch. Oh, okay. Nearly. And this one is... Well, yeah, that's capacitive touch too, but it's not multi-touch because it's not enabled. No, it's not enabled, exactly. Right, right. So it's about enabling or not. Right. That, that actually comes from Android. Okay, got it. So it has nothing to do with the display. But if you have an application which makes use of that. Right. So when do you anticipate having this to market? Uh, April, April, May. April? Yep. And when do you have any idea what the pricing is going to be for? Pricing? It depends on how much you buy. If you if you are going to buy 10 million, 10 million I sell it like. And if the market is actually <laughs> less, so it's market dependent as well. Then it depends on the carrier, who's the carrier for this telecom carrier. So you're so so you're you're going to sell it to OEMs or other? No. Are you going to sell it directly? Oh, so you no weren't kidding. I am going to buy it from you. No shining is a brand. Wow. So we are going okay. to sell. This is not the first and the only product. Okay. So in my mobile, I have different uh, images for different products. So mm -hmm. this is one of the first product. Okay. So what do you anticipate will be the uh, consumer retail level? You'll be very happy when you know the price. Yeah. That is all I, mean. <laughs> I I have a feeling he said that a lot this week. Yeah. That came out real fast. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, very nice. Very nice. Fantastic. So is the casing going to change much? Yes. As I said, this is development, right? So right, right. Right, that's, right that's now this is 18 asking. to 19. The final will be 14. We can touch 12, but it, it should not hurt your pockets as well. Okay. You get a good idea of their form factor devices. Um, there are dummy devices outside of the displays. Um, I, think, I think you were able to take a few pictures. Yeah, I did. I think we've seen them. Yeah. yeah. OK. Fantastic. Oh, very good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it.